Parameter sniffing is a phenomenon inside SQL Server by which the database engine query optimizer might create multiple plans based on the set of parameter values that you submit with a stored procedure. Now, this is one of the reasons uh, why sometimes your stored procedure, your workload might run slower than what you expect. Now, there are a lot of resources available on internet uh, which, which talk about parameter sniffing problem and how you can deal with it. But what is slightly tricky is how do you identify that a performance problem is actually a parameter sniffing uh, problem. So detecting this is uh, slightly tricky and this is what I want to talk about in this uh, quick video. Now there is a DMV and I'm sure you know about that DMV, DIM exec query stats, which will give you a lot of attributes related to the uh, execution of a query and also more details about a plan itself. Um, there are some attributes there, for example, um, minimum worker time, maximum worker time, which is related to, let's say, the CPU factor. Then you have minimum logical reads and maximum logical reads, that's IO. And then you have minimum elapsed time and maximum elapsed time, which is, uh, let's say, the duration. Now, let's say you execute the stored procedure and it runs in five seconds, and that is the expected time in which it should complete and which is all good. But let's say the next execution of the stored procedure comes uh, runs with uh, a completely different set of parameters and it takes more than 60 seconds to execute. Now, let's say it took 60 seconds. Now, if you go and look into DIM exec uh, procedure stats, and let's say if this was an ad hoc query, for example, and you go and look into query stats, uh, you will see that uh, min worker, uh, min, um, elapsed time will have uh, five seconds and you will see max elapsed time will have 60 seconds. Now you see that the difference is quite a bit and you got to decide on a sensible uh, factor as to what is uh, not acceptable to you and you can find out the difference between max and min and if this difference is considerable this might be a parameter sniffing issue. Now one attribute may not be very decisive and that is why you may want to play with let's say uh, the CPU factor, which is uh, min worker time, and you may also want to play with IO. Because let's say if you're only relying on the duration factor, the excess duration might be caused due to blocking. And that is why it is important that when you write this kind of business logic where you're comparing uh, max with min, you may want to also include the CPU uh, factor as well as IO. So maybe a combination of CPU, IO, and duration might be very decisive and this might help you in detecting if a query performance uh, problem is actually a uh, uh, parameter sniffing issue.